Hello, rock people. This is Dave the Geology Dude. Today we are identifying phyllite and other metamorphic rocks. It's time for another pop rock quiz. Rock quiz. Yeah. Pop. Rock quiz. Pop rock quiz. Yeah. Yeah. Pop rock quiz. Pop rock quiz. Pop rock quiz. Pop rock quiz. Yeah. Yeah. Rock quiz. For today's pop rock quiz, you need to identify the metamorphic rock called phyllite. Phyllite can be confused with other rocks such as shale, slate, and schist. To differentiate, you need to consider how much each rock reflects light. Here are three strategies that you can use. First, you need to recognize that shale is not a metamorphic rock. Here's an example of shale. Shale is a sedimentary rock. It is made of compressed silt and clay. Therefore, it looks dull, like dry mud. Shale also may contain fossils. Metamorphic rocks do not look dull like mud. Metamorphic rocks almost never have fossils. So avoid shale as an answer on this metamorphic quiz. The second hint is to recognize the mineral muscovite. This is muscovite. Muscovite can make rocks very reflective. It grows in rocks that contain clay and water. However, it is a finicky mineral. It likes things in only certain ways. It is like you, with your coffee or tea. You don't want it too hot or too cold. You want it to be in between these extremes. It has to be just right. So muscovite is a Goldilocks mineral. It insists that pressures and temperatures must be just right for it to appear. In rocks very near Earth's surface, like shale and slate, muscovite will not form. Muscovite prefers almost medium to medium pressures and temperatures. As for phyllite, it marks the just right stage where muscovite begins to form microscopically. Muscovite also will form in schist, but in schist it is usually large enough to see individually. However, if the temperature becomes too high for schist, muscovite becomes unstable and disappears. Then the rock turns into the rock called gneiss. Gneiss is spelled with the silent letter G. Are you ready for the final hint? It is to use an old-fashioned blackboard as your standard for comparing these rocks. Remember that an old-fashioned blackboard barely reflects light. Its surface does not look dull or muddy. Look for the characteristic of slight reflectivity on this easel. Blackboards are made from slate, and slate does not contain fossils. Think of an eraser on a blackboard. An eraser removes writing from a blackboard by friction and movement, unless you don't rub it hard enough. So slate marks the first stage of metamorphism in many rocks. Metamorphism acts like an eraser that starts to remove fossils from rocks. After slate, phyllite is the next rock in this progression. Phyllite marks the beginning stage of muscovite growth. Phyllite is cooked and squeezed slightly more than slate, but phyllite contains only microscopic muscovites. The muscovites remain too small to see individually. However, you can still see them collectively in phyllite. The muscovites are aligned uniformly to make the rock surfaces appear silky and satiny. Think of the subtle reflections on phyllite as being too shiny to belong to a blackboard. If temperatures and pressures rise more, muscovite can grow to large visible sizes. This can create areas that sparkle like glitter. This rock type is called schist. Think of the surfaces of schist as being too sparkly to belong to a blackboard. Finally, if temperatures and pressures exceed those associated with schist, muscovite becomes unstable and disappears. This next metamorphic stage is marked by the rock called gneiss. Most types of gneiss form without muscovite. Note that gneiss is spelled with the silent letter G. So, I hope with these hints, you now feel like starting the quiz. Let's introduce the contestants of the day. Rock A is about as hard as glass, and it does not react to acid. When you rotate it, it sparkles like glitter, or perhaps like sequins on a dress. Also, you can see the individual minerals in this rock. For rock B, it is about as hard as glass and also does not react to acid. This rock contains minerals that are too small to see individually. This gives the rock one uniform color, and it isn't very reflective, but it isn't dull or muddy. Rock C does not cut glass easily, and it does not react to acid. Again, the minerals are too small to see individually, but the surface seems slightly shiny or silky. Well, which rock is phyllite? Is it rock A, rock B, or rock C? Let's have one more look at the contestants. Here's rock A. It's the prettiest rock of the bunch. Its surfaces sparkle from visible muscovites, and sometimes from shiny black minerals called biotite, too. Does a surface on a blackboard look like this? Rock B has one uniform color. It may remind you of historic classrooms. This rock was common in a time before spell check and autocorrect helped with writing. There were no computers back then. During that time, you could not blame your errors on the internet. Rock C seems not very distinctive, but it has subtle reflective surfaces that shine like satin. Otherwise, it is mostly uniform in color. So, it's time to choose your answer. 
Are you able to do it, or do you have to go back to the rock pile and whack some more rocks? Think of the hints, because my hints tell you no schist, and I shall not tell you more. Before I identify the real Philite, let me introduce the contestants. First, I must mention the contestant that is not on the quiz. It is shale. Shale is not a metamorphic rock at all. It is a sedimentary rock that is made of mud. It is dull, muddy, and may contain fossils. It is rejected from this metamorphic quiz for that reason. But shale is the rock that slate, phyllite, schist, and gneiss often begin from. That is why shale is known as the protolith or parent rock. It is the original rock before changes from metamorphism begin. With that said, if your answer is rock B, it is slate. Slate marks the lowest grade of metamorphism. Slate is barely reflective like an old-fashioned blackboard. Slate is only slightly more cooked and compressed than shale, but it is not cooked enough for muscovite to form. Shale is the metamorphic rock that precedes phyllite. If your answer is rock A, it's schist. Schist is a medium-grade metamorphic rock. It is cooked and squeezed much more than many metamorphic rocks, except for gneiss. Schist is the stage where our Goldilocks mineral, called muscovite, begins to grow into sizes large enough to glitter. Schist forms after phyllite. Although the sweet spot for muscovite is with phyllite and schist, muscovite only starts to grow in phyllite. And now it's time to reveal the final contestant. If your answer is rock C, take a bow. Finally, it is phyllite. Phyllite is exposed to only slightly more heat and pressure than slate, but it lives within less heat and pressure than schist. Phyllite is a rock that is also just right for muscovite, and this answer is just right for this quiz. So, I hope you have learned more about metamorphic rocks today. There are many other metamorphic rocks, such as metavolcanics and metaconglomerates. They are all beautiful rocks, because I have never met a rock that I didn't like. Well, don't forget to remember your rocks when next time we return for another Pop Rock Quiz!